Here's the uh, 1979 Chevy Corvette walk around. Uh, the car is mechanically sound with everything new mechanically. Suspension, brakes, shocks, bushings, control arms. Yeah, new steering ram, steering box, um, brand new 454, brand new reverse pattern manual, uh, turbo 400. Uh, let's see, there's so much new on it. Uh, let's see, the wheels are in decent condition. They're uh, not the most desirable looking wheels, but they are the stainless trim rings and the stainless capped rally wheels. Uh, and those are in decent shape. Uh, the gaps on the car, uh, not perfect. But uh, the paint is nice and flat and buffed out. Zero orange peel, uh, really shiny. Um, T-tops do not leak. New gaskets. Um, got a new custom two and a half inch exhaust with thrush mufflers on it. Sounds completely awesome. awesome. I'll pull it inside so you can get a look at the quality of the paint. I'll give you an in-depth uh, it's not perfect, but it's nice enough. Uh, it's actually a decent looking car and great running. So, I'm going to give you the inside of the door panel. Uh, it's got a sign of wear. Interior is uh, could use some little upgrades like carpet. It has carpet, but it just kind of faded. It's old, original carpet. Steering column, uh, it's got sign of wear. Uh, it's got the new shifter here. We had to make make this, that's not correct, but it's a reverse pattern. To save any confusion, we had to put uh, we had to put stickers in the right, correct position. There's no radio. There's a small crack in the dash right here. It's not a perfect car, but it is a mechanically sound and stable and very performance oriented car. Um, the power window on the passenger side, uh, the switch broke, but um, electric fuel pump. Side glass here. This door gap is 
pretty quick and it's too quick to be driving with one hand filming that's for sure uh, there's a couple of imperfections in the bumper but hey it's an old car it looks decent uh, a single burn tire uh, really easy it's really fun to drive and handles awesome so uh, I don't know if you're interested take it for a test drive it only has about 500 maybe 600 miles on it since the new engine transmission and everything uh, it's got some minor things to fix but hey you can handle that mostly it's interior work so uh, yeah tell you what it sure sounds killer in here what a great driving car the steering's nice and tight, handles awesome. Um, it shows uh, 27,082 miles, which is probably 127,000 on the body. Uh, but mechanically, um, it's under 600 miles on everything. So it's a great car. Extremely fun to drive. Um, if, you're, if you're looking for a performance-oriented vet that doesn't mind uh, having uh, panel fitment not be perfect, I doubt any of these old cars have uh, perfect gaps. But uh, this is definitely a driver's car. It's a pleasure to drive. And it will chirp the tires even in third gear. Take some more pictures. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it on our lift so you guys can uh, I'll give you an underneath walk around so you know what you can see. And uh, I'll tell you everything about the car from underneath. And you can see it with your own eyes. And uh, you see how, how great this car really is. side of the Corvette here we got uh, new full thing new everything two and a half inch exhaust custom new mono spring new uh, axles the uh, trailing arms are new both of them uh, I'm gonna run up there and get that those tires yeah all right anyways we've got new brakes new Elbrock shocks uh, the rear end is a three five is it three five five? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so there's the numbers on the rear end there. I'll take a another look here. Come on, Zeke. Zeke, come on. New Turbo Four Hundred. Reverse go. pattern belt body. Let's go. Little urethane mount. Uh, I swapped out these header flanges for the ball flanges. Uh, has a little deep pan there. Uh, new steering ram. Uh, new ball joints. New sway bar bushings. New, new brakes. The other caliper on the other side. Um, it was new as well, uh, as well as the rears, but the passenger front. Uh, is a different color because uh, it had a factory flaw in it and it was uh, seeping out so it's not painted yet but uh, so in case you're wondering why that is a different color so uh, I don't know, it's really solid mechanically uh, the body is decent you know um, it has a couple of you know little issues going on but I wouldn't say bad issues. I mean, mostly it's just, you know, bumped into something there, but it's not bad. Um, it's probably a, on an A, B, C, D grade, I'd say the body's probably a B minus. 
Not bad. But mechanically, this thing's totally dialed. It has new vacuum operated headlight system. All new vacuum lines associated with that. Uh, I'll lower it down and take a look at the top side here. Um, in a second. All right. shift gears but if you're a, a car guy it's not a big deal if you're looking for a you know a totally stock car this probably isn't the one for you probably has too much power um, I would probably say it's probably 400 horsepower and probably 500 foot-pounds of torque uh, it really moves it as 355 rear axle gears, all new axle tubes, 